23 million and counting the number of hits this singer has had for the song that made him a household name. Take a listen. So where was the passion you needed the most? Oh, you and I, you kick up the leaves and the magic is lost. Because you had a bad day. You take a, a very big welcome to Daniel Powder. Good morning. Uh, were you surprised at the success of that song? I think anybody is surprised at the success of any song. I mean, I had really low expectations, you know, um, which is really a great place to aim, you know, because <laughs> then you're low. not really yeah. like you're not disappointed. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I did most of that song, you know, or some of that song, I should say, maybe half of it in my mom and dad's living room, you know, and on with like very little budget. And, you know, I wasn't signed when that recording that you hear there is actually the, the one that I did in the living room. Uh, what can we expect from this one? You know, I spent so much time away, you know, and I kind of feel like it's just a lot more, po uh, a little ro more rocky, but a little more positive, you know, like a yeah. little bit more like energetic, a little bit more. I kind of got tired of writing about songs about myself, you know, and so I started writing songs that I think people can see themselves in, you know. I think it's really important to me as a songwriter to be able to like have a song that someone could walk up to me and go, oh, I had that exactly the same experience, you know. And the song Cupid was inspired by a couple that you saw, is that right? It's kind of, yeah, that and, and just the fact that I'd gone through this, like, long divorce and I wanted to sort of, you know, feel those feelings again, you yeah. know. I felt kind of lonely and I was a little bit depleted and dejected, so I, I wrote a song that kind of inspired me to kind of get off my feet and stop feeling sorry for myself. Okay, what's, right. the, what's the craziest fan story you can share with us? The craziest one? I would say... I was just thinking, like, one that I can talk about on TV, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, probably there was uh, in Japan or somewhere in Southeast Asia, I can't remember if exactly it was Japan, but I woke up in the morning and there was someone in my closet. Well, that is definitely an interesting That wasn't story. invited. They weren't invited there. They were, <laughs> they were not... They were not someone that I'd brought home the night before, if you know uh, what I mean. I they gotcha. were like, they're, yes. in, they're doing their own thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, one final question now. If you wanted to serenade, serenade me or anybody else for uh -huh. that matter, what song would you sing? I'd sing Hey Jude from the Beatles. Can you bust it out? Oh again? my God. Come on. Mm -hmm. You can do it. I could try. I don't actually know it. All right. I <laughs> Sounded good to me. I don't actually me. know the song, but I mean, that's the song I like. If you don't know the song and that's what you just busted out, you're amazing. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Daniel, I don't thank know how you to play so it. much. Thank well, you. Yes, you do know how to play it. Thank <laughs> you so much. Uh, check out uh, his performance and his new song, Cupid, on lifeloveshopping.com.